Java Development Kit is an environment for developing applications and tools based on Java. Now, it is a very versatile kit, which can be used for testing applications and program development alike, using the Java programming language, of course. Hi all, this is Vipassana from Edureka, and what follows is going to be a brief guide for beginners on how to download and install Java on Ubuntu 80. Now, let me go ahead and make this very clear that you could also install Java through Open Java JDK or GRE, which is an open source alternative using the apt get command pretty easily. And there are plenty other tutorials out there which may show you how to get Java installed via third party PPA tools. However, this tutorial is focused solely on downloading Java from its original repository instead of the open source version or via a third party. I'm going to show you two foolproof methods to download Java from the repository. So let me begin by stating the few simple steps that you need to follow to be able to download and install JDK on your OSs completely hassle free. We're going to start out by visiting the Oracle website, which is the first thing you need to do to install JDK on your Ubuntu OS. Then we have two methods, as I had mentioned before, we are going to download JDK using the tarball file followed by the dev file. I'm going to show you these two ways and then install them on your system. Then we are going to configure Java on your system and finally create the Java environment variables. Also, kindly take up this time to go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you never miss an update from the Edureka YouTube channel on the hottest trending technologies. So without much ado, let's get started. So to install JDK on Ubuntu, first we're going to log on to the Oracle official website. Now this is what the website looks like. I am using Ubuntu 18.04 and I am running it on my Oracle virtual box. So on the left side of your screen, you're going to see three short lines stacked on top of each other, and this is the menu button. You're gonna to go to products, Java, and then you see two options, Java JRE for consumers, and you have JDK for developers. We are going to pick the JDK option. You see a square button here, which has the Java logo and download written on it. You're gonna click on that. And now if you scroll down at the bottom, you'll see a box like this, which says Java SE Development Kit 12.0.1. You'll see a bunch of different options to download JDK. You have three for Linux, two for Mac OS, and two for Windows. Now on the top of the box, you will see two options, decline license agreement, and on the left, you'll have accept license agreement. We are going to click on that. And now you are permitted to download JDK for your system. So for my first method, I'm going to go to the third link, which has a doctor.gz extension. This is basically going to download a zipped file. So I'm going to click on that. And then I get this dialog box. I get prompted. I'm going to save this file. Click on OK. It's going to take a couple of moments to download. You can see the progress of your download by clicking on this download sign right here. After downloading, basically what we are going to do is we are going to go into our terminal and extract the downloaded package to install JDK on Ubuntu. Now that it's downloaded, I'm going to open the terminal. Let me make it full screen and yeah, hope this is visible enough. So firstly, let's look for where our file is. I'm assuming it will be in downloads. So let's list out what we have, whatever files we have in downloads. And as you can see, we have our tar file, tarball file in the downloads directory. So I'm going to go there. And now I'm going to run this command to unzip this archive package onto my system. This is going to take just a moment. Basically what it's doing is it's unzipping all the files that are there inside that zipped file. 
Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory to store the Java compiler packages. So sudo mkdir to make an empty directory. Now you can go ahead and name it whatever you want, but I find it very convenient to name it after the Java version that I'm installing. So next what I'm going to do is I am going to run this command to copy the extracted Java contents into a newly created directory that we have just created. And now we're going to go there and check if all our files are there. And as you can see, you can find your JDK files here. Now, this is one way of doing it, but there's also another way in which this can be done. Now, another way of doing it is to download JVM using a dev file. So basically, we'll start out with obtaining the link from the dev file. So I'm going to open link in a new tab, select it all and copy. You can also go ahead and install the software, but I'm going to tell you an easy way to do this. So I'm going to cancel this. And this is the link that you are going to follow with that your JDK has started to download. So all of this I am going to download using the link which you can find in the blog that I have linked in the description box below. Okay, now that we have downloaded the correct archive package for our system, let me go up again and next you're going to depackage it. So sudo and now it's going to unpack whatever we have downloaded. Now this might take some time as you are trying to install over 13200 files and directories. Now once that is done, the next step is configure Java on your system. Now after what you've done, you can go ahead and configure all alternatives of Java on your system. After you've done that, you're going to run this command on Java to make sure that it is configured as the default on Ubuntu. All the commands that I'm using will be left with the link to the blog in the description box below. Then a bunch of other commands. So now basically I am updating alternatives to configure Java. As I just have one alternative in the link group of Java, I have nothing to configure. But just in case you have more than one, you can go ahead and configure it. Basically, if you have other versions of Java installed and you ran the commands that I just did, you should see a prompt to select the version of Java that you want to make the default. If you don't have other versions of Java, it will show you this particular message as I just got it. Next, I am going to run these four commands. Again, basically what I'm doing is getting my Java installed and configured. And finally, I want to see if my Ubuntu OS recognizes my Java version. So I'm going to go ahead and type Java and check for the version. And now it shows me the Java version that I am using, right? You should expect to see an output like this basically. Okay, next. To set my Java environment variables, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file in the directory for JDK. So let me clear this out. So basically, sudo nano Okay, and here I am going to copy these lines. Again, this is also something you can find in the blog that I will be linking in the description box. Let me make sure I copied them. And I did. So let me save it and exit. All right. Next, I'm going to run this command. 
basically what I'm going to do is I am going to run the shell script that I just created And after running that if you ask for the Java version you should be getting something like so so congratulations you've just successfully installed Java or JDK 12.0.1 on Ubuntu 18.04 with that I'm closing this session thank you and have a great day I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!